Hey guys, we've got the 330 Kona Bear Trap here. Um, these things can be real tough to set, uh, especially if you don't have the setting tool. Uh, but there's a couple different ways you can go about it. Uh, I'm going to show you three different ways in this video to set these traps. And the last one I'm going to show you, I kind of made up myself, and I honestly think it's one of the easiest ways you can uh, set a 330 Kona Bear Trap. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you them. All right, so the first way is uh, by using your feet. Um, first thing to know is how to position the trap. You want, the most important thing is you want the clips on the bottom. So make sure those are on the bottom and whichever one you're about to set, you don't want it, um, you want the clip facing upward. You don't want it facing downward. So this side will be clip facing upward when it's this way. So first thing you're gonna do is get a good, get a good, strong base on this uh, the bottom of the trap here and then you're going to want to hold it right here uh, watch your fingers when you end up <clears throat> pushing down on this with your leg this is what you're going to do you're going to press down on this with your foot watch your fingers right here if that snaps up that could break your finger so keep pushing down pushing down pushing down and then get kind of set get it all the way down and get it set get stable Pick this foot up and and grab that little piece with this foot and then pick this uh, other foot up that you compressed it with originally then you grab your uh, clip put it over top that and gently pull up so that's one spring set I'll show you it again on the other side again get a good base might want to move the triggers out of the way Good base. Make sure the clip is up. And then you gently push down with your foot. Try to keep steady. And get it all the way down. Readjust with your other foot. Catch that little section there. Move that clip up. And gently lift up. Now the springs are set. And then this is just like setting any, any conibear trap. You want the trigger on top. <laughs> that makes the clips also on top. So when you squeeze this, the clips stay on top and they don't fall off. If they're on the bottom, they just fall off. If they're on the bottom and you actually let go, you're gonna break your fingers, or you could. So make sure the clips are on top, the trigger's on top, and you move your trigger into place and set your trigger and that's a set 330 so that's one way to do it um, then obviously you pull these off but we'll unset it so same same thing to unset it push down on that and then I normally just let them spring out and get out of the way And again on this side, push down, that out of the way, let it spring up. So um, that's the first way and that's uh, the foot method. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you the next one. Okay, so the second method is the rope method. What you're going to do is go through the top eyelet, go through the bottom eyelet, you're going to want to make sure it's on the outside of the eyelet. You don't want it on the inside. If you get it too close, it can actually slip through this tiny crack that uh, where the eyelet meets itself. So you want it on the outside as much as possible. So you go through the top, the bottom, back through the top, and then back through the bottom. Try to make sure it's on the outside. And then you're going to either step on this. If you have hard ground, you can just step on it. Uh, or if it's like muddy ground, it might slip out. So you might want to tie a loop and put your boot through it. But here I got concrete, so this should be good. And then what you're going to do is just basically pull, 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 pull. 
keep pulling until you get those that those two eyelets cinched together and hold it move your clip into place let go that's the idea So now that's set. All right, so the last uh, method I wanted to show you was the one that I kind of just thought of and I think it works great. Um, so what you're gonna need is one of these uh, quick grip wood clamps. It doesn't have to be the Irwin brand. You can buy one for like five bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. But anyway, you're gonna want one of the ratcheting quick clamps. And then all you're gonna do is kind of turn these to a 90 degree angle. And then open it up, put it around a spring. You wanna make sure that it's on there tight so that it doesn't uh, slip off. And you wanna turn it sideways so you're basically, your clamp is parallel to the spring. And then you grab on to the very end of each eyelet. So you're going to want to grab here and here, the very end of each eyelet. Make sure it's right in the center of that pad so you have a good grip on it. If that slips off, you don't know what could happen. And then you just start squeezing that down. And I mean, you can do this pretty much one-handed until you get to the end. You kind of got to, you might have to use two hands, but another thing you will end up with pretty big forearms if you keep doing this. So anyway, you keep squeezing it down, squeezing it down. Keep squeezing it down until you can get that clip set. Once you set the clip, release the clamp. And there you go. That's, uh, that's all there is to it. That's pretty simple. Um, I really like it. These things are pretty light. Uh, this one, it, it takes a while for it to get down. Uh, you can buy better ones and it would go a lot quicker. They travel a lot further with each squeeze and each squeeze, um, they have better like handles here so it's easier to squeeze. But uh, these things are pretty light. You can fit them in your trapper basket and head out on the water and set these pretty easily. So this is something that I just kind of thought of and I think it works pretty well. Go ahead and try it. If, uh, if any of these helped you out, give me a like on this video. And if you want to check out more stuff like this, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.